Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo. Today I'm going to show you how I created my custom lock screen for the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the videos I've made so far for the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. Now where I went to create my custom lock screen was inside of an application that is called Good Lock. Now just so you guys know, Good Lock is available here in the United States. If you're outside of the country, you might want to download a VPN, turn off your phone, turn it back on, your phone doesn't know where you are, then now you're able to download Good Lock. Now inside of Good Lock, you want to download the very first application you see, which is called Lock Star. Now Good Lock is a application that houses many other applications that's made by Samsung for Samsung, so nothing is third party. Now, in order for you to download GoodLock, you wanna go inside of your application tray, go to the very top right-hand side, and then click on Galaxy Essentials. Now, inside of here, this is the App Store, again, created by Samsung for Samsung, and this is where you wanna search for GoodLock. Now, once you find this option here, you go to install and download, and once it's all downloaded and installed, and then you go through, you click on open, and then you'll tap on the very top, and you go to install. So it'll kind of look like this right here. It'll be install right here, but it'll say lock star. Once you get it installed, you'll basically head back over into good lock, and once you open it up, then you are inside of the screen here. Now this is where you would like to toggle it on and then you add a new style. So before we go through and I show you step-by-step step on how I got this one set up, how about I show you the lock screen itself just so you can see why I like it and some of the functions and the features. So I do have the facial recognition turned on along with the fingerprint reader. I put the date and the time on the bottom and then also with this wallpaper, I'll show you where I got this as well. And I got it from Reddit, but I'm gonna show you how you can find it just a little bit quicker than scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Uh, and then on the right-hand side, because I am right-handed, I do have more shortcuts than just the two. So usually we'd have one on the bottom left and the bottom right, uh, but I put quite a few of them over here that I use pretty much daily. One of the nice ones is that you don't have to unlock your phone to use the flashlight. So a flashlight is something that, you know, you might use quite often, and it's a way to kind of put it on on your uh, lock screen so this way it doesn't take up a ton of space or take away from those two other you know shortcuts that you were able to use and then let's say that you go inside of uh, YouTube so if you click on YouTube show it to your face uh, it unlocks and it goes straight to the application so you might find that useful to have more than just two shortcuts on your lock screen uh, and I did place mine on the right hand side as you can see there just because I am right-handed something that's super simple and easy so for me to show you how I have everything set up setting up your background is one of the first steps. So let me show you really fast where I downloaded that wallpaper. It's right here inside of Reddit. They do have a website, but I just use the application here. Uh, once you have Reddit downloaded, go to the search and go to Note 10 wallpapers. And then inside of the Note 10 wallpapers, you're going to see this option here. Yours might say new post. And what you want to do is put it right over here to top. So this is basically the all time top wallpapers. Let's see, we have Joker, you scroll down, you have more space and, and a moon. So as you scroll through here, what you're gonna try to find is really whichever one you like. But if you wanted to use the one I have right here, it's called Embrace. And so this is the image, you go to the top, you go to save, and it's saved to your phone. Now, once it's saved to your phone, how about we head back right over into Good Lock uh, inside of Lockstar, which is what we've talked about from before and you click on that little plus button. So inside of here, you have your background, clock, and item visibility. So for the background, this first one over here is your gallery. This is any of them that you've used recently. And these are the rest of the backgrounds that you're able to use. So we're not gonna go through all of those ones. I'm gonna try to show you how I've set mine up. So through here, I'm gonna go through gallery, go to wallpapers, and this is the image that we're going to use. Now, once this is set up, now you're able to choose kind of what it looks like and where everything is placed. And what I mean by that is when you see these little arrows, uh, you can see how some of this over here will change and move. You got the time up there, notifications there, a shortcut there. Uh, so you can kind of see all the subtle changes and you can also swipe through. So the one that I've used is actually the very first one. And then underneath the first one, you go to this plus icon. This is where you put in all of your different shortcuts. Now, because I've used uh, these ones from before, it knows which applications uh, that I use quite often. So I'm gonna do flashlight, duo, phone, Pokemon Go, YouTube, and YouTube Studio. Now, 
You can make any of these, any of the applications you want. You can have up to six. If you don't want six, you don't have to have six. You can have five or three or two or one. Now, once you've applied it, this is what it's gonna look like. Uh, and actually mine wasn't on the bottom, it was, it was actually the second one here. So I want it on the right hand side. But now you can get a little bit better uh, view of what it looks like when you scroll through all these different options. Now, depending on your background, you might like this one here. Uh, this time is right up over here on the top left hand side. Uh, you have your uh, astronaut man here pointing right over there, you got your shortcuts. And basically you're not gonna be blocking your fingerprint reader. That's one of the things you wanna keep in mind. When you have the time on the bottom right here, your fingerprints little reader icon is right there if you have it set up to show. So I try to have a clock that's not too big, you know, to get in the way. So how about we just do, I wanna see what this one looks like. So we're gonna go with this one. Now underneath clock, this is where you can choose how you want it to look. So this one actually looks pretty sick. Uh, you can still go through here and you can change other ones. Uh, but this one is actually looking pretty good for me. And then you can head over into the item visibility. So this is your notifications. So if you don't want notifications or you do want notifications, if you don't want clock, you do want clock, you got your status bar on the top. So you can kind of go through some of these on what you want them to look like. And this is pretty much how I have mine set up. So you can see how I have a couple different ones. Uh, so I'm going to choose this one. And so we're going to apply the style. Now over here on the bottom, uh, your, your unlock type, you can either have it to where it'll only go to the unlock screen, which is your password or pin, if you swipe up or down or left or right. So if you want to swipe in any direction, click on swipe. But if you don't want people to kind of be like, hey, what the heck, why is it not, it's not working, I'm swiping up or I'm swiping left. So you can do any of these other ways to swipe and it'll only unlock when you do swipe down. Then you'd be able to go over here and you can go to the app uh, shortcut interaction. So with this one, it's probably set up to Samsung default, which is press and swipe over to open the app. But for me, I just chose the option of touch or you can do double touch. So if you do a little double tap, then it'll go to your lock screen and I'll show you what that looks like again. Um, but underneath touch, I'm just gonna do that one. This is where I turned off the option for use system clock and I turn off the option for use system wallpaper. So let's say that you have a system wallpaper you love, but you wanted uh, everything else to be in this order, then you could turn this one on. Uh, or you can go through and let's say you don't like this clock, you can actually turn on this option here uh, and you can edit your clock again and, and you can even change the color as well. So if you choose this option, then this time is gonna be over here at that color. Uh, but again, I do kind of like the option that we have already set up. So I'm gonna turn this one off. I'm gonna head back home click on that button, head right up over here. And then this is how we have it set up. And I did actually through my system have the clock as red. And I think that's actually why it's showing red uh, right there. But this is actually looking pretty cool. I have no notifications, so no notifications are gonna be on the bottom. So let's actually unlock the phone and there we go. Again, when it comes down to the touch of the icon, let's say that you wanna go inside of YouTube. Again, uh, if you put in your code or fingerprint, it goes directly over into the application. So it's a quick way to actually go to anything you set up on that lock screen. Now, the very last thing I do wanna show you is that if you do go through here, and if there's any of these that you would like to change just slightly, you're able to press and hold and head over into edit. Now inside of edit, maybe I want to add another shortcut. So I'm gonna click on the shortcuts one more time. And I do wanna add in my YouTube music because I do listen to a lot of music. Also, one of the other things you'd be able to do is you can move these around. So how about we move the flashlight over here? Uh, I wanna put my YouTube music on the very top so I don't get confused. Uh, I listen to music every single day, uh, voice chat with a bunch of my buddies or video chat with my buddies call, and there we go. So that is how mine is gonna be set up. I'm gonna hit on save hit on home, go back, put it back into the lock screen. And there we go. Everything is all set up. And one of the cool things you are able to do is if you have a fun wallpaper, maybe it's a live wallpaper. If you actually just touch the screen anywhere, then you're able to make it show constantly. But other than that, I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe right over here at the very bottom left hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later. Oh,